hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel this side friends uh, so in the last lecture we discussed about how to create a sample maven project and how to add a dependency required for automating the desktop application using winup driver and then we talked about launching the notepad desktop application by manually running the winup driver in this lecture we are now going to discuss about how to programmatically run WinApp driver, different ways of running WinApp driver programmatically, prerequisite to run WinApp driver through Appium. So uh, when it comes to the real time execution, then we are not supposed to run the WinApp driver manually. That is by double clicking, which we discussed in the le last lecture. In fact, we need to run it programmatically. So there are two ways to run the WinApp driver programmatically. One is using the inbuilt function of Java, that is process builder. And the second one is Appium. So yeah, moving on to now the IntelliJ. So I'm going to the IntelliJ now. And uh, if you look at this code, so this is what, uh, what we discussed last time and uh, if you look at it, these are these were the desired capability that we defined and we set the app as uh, the notepad location, right? App as a capability, then platform name is Windows, device name is Windows PC, right? In this case, we were supposed to run this WinApp driver by going to that location where the WinApp driver was installed. And then after we were able to use the WinApp driver, right? Now we are going to discuss about how to run it through process builder okay so this is the place uh, where like uh, what we are trying to do uh, i have already written the code so let me navigate you and explain me like what we are doing so we are first of all running the winapp driver server as like we done in the previous case but in that case we were doing it manually this time what we are doing we are running it through the process builder so this is how i have written a method run winap driver server and this is the winap driver path the location where we last time double clicked and ran it this time we got this location and now what we are doing is using the process builder we are passing the location of this winap driver and using this inherit io this is some inbuilt in function so we have now built this process as soon as we will uh, uh, like builder uh, the instance of this particular process builder is now created right as soon as we will click on this start we will get a return type as process if you note this is the return type so what we are doing in this case we are getting the process so what is the reason of getting it so that we can kill this process later on meaning we can um, shut down the winner driver once after execution is completed so this is about run with root capabilities this we will be discussing in the later sections what is root capabilities and what are the non-root capability by default we are running uh, we are right now running with non-root capability in the later sessions we will be discussing about what are the root capabilities okay uh, so this is the desktop application location right so this is the desktop application location and now once the winner driver is set up right so what we need we need to now run the uh, a WinApp driver. So I have written another method. Previously, I was writing it in the in uh, under one class within one main method. Now I have segregated it to multiple methods. So this is what I'm doing. I have defined run with root capability, which is false, and desktop application location, the location, the application which I want to um, launch and I want to interact with. So I'm just going here. So what I'm doing, I'm defining the desired capability. In in our case, root is false, so the control will go to else and we are setting the application location as like we did in the past right the code is similar it's just like i have added one if and else block and now i am defining some default capability that is platform name and device name and later on we are running it uh, we are now instantiating the object of windows driver and this we are returning okay so in this case if i go back to the actual code where this uh, method got invoked so we got the windows driver now what we are doing similar to what we did in the past we are 
now maximizing the window and then after we were we are clicking on settings as like we did in the uh, last session session i mean okay so i'm going to run it so you will see there is no impact at all okay it's uh, the only difference is we ran it programmatically this time okay so if you observe uh, we are able to run this application uh, through like uh, programmatically using the process filter so i'll be uh, once i am done with this whole series i'll be putting this particular repository on the github okay so uh, now the next thing is how to run it through apm right now whatever we discussed is for selenium 3 this is 7.3.0 if you go here go to maven and if you look at the dependency so i'm just expanding the dependency so io.java.client this one is by default using the transit dependency 3.1.1.59 so this is 7.3.0 which is like selenium 3 based so you need to have a selenium 3 uh, like we don't need to directly install it is automatically being taken care by this but if what i want to say if uh, we for example upgrade it to some later version 8.0 and more then it would be selenium 4 so i'll recommend to use it use for now is uh, 7.3.0 okay so uh, now the next uh, in the next lecture we are going to discuss about what is apm and uh, not what is apm how to run the application through apm like run the vnap driver i mean through apm right so this is the code so i'll be discussing in the next lecture on how to configure apm and what are the prerequisites thank you for now